Hey guys, how's it going? Now, when we talk about gaming laptops in general, we usually say that their performance is going to be second best or inferior in comparison to gaming desktops. While that might be the usual case, this right here offers desktop grid performance. This right here is the MSI Raider G76 11UH, which is powered by the beast known as the 11th gen Intel Core i9 processor and coupled with the Nvidia GeForce RTX 3080 GPU to provide a gaming experience better than most gaming desktops. Now, while the 12th gen Raider was just announced, there's still a long wait till the market availability. Personally though, I've been using this machine as my daily driver for more than 3 months now and I can easily say that for most folks out there, this thing is going to be a powerhouse champ and an unmatchable value. So exactly how good is the MSI GE76? It weighs a lot. But yeah, how good is it and is it really worth your work? Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Deck and you're watching my in-depth review of the MSI GE76 Raider powered by the Intel Core i9 processor. Let's get started. Alright, so first things first, let's start by talking about the design here. The G76 comes in this bold look that obviously does not try to be slim and simply because it doesn't have to. It's got a robust look that's well complemented by the RGB light bar and keyboard backlighting, all of which are customizable by the way. The lid and the palm rest surround are aluminum, while the rest is made from high quality plastic. Now in terms of I.O, on the left side you get a Kensington lock, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 port, one USB C 3.2 Gen 2 port and a headphone jack. Over to the right side, you get a full size SD card reader sandwiched between two USB A 3.2 Gen 1 ports. Finally, on the back side, you have a mini DisplayPort 1.4 port, one Thunderbolt 4 port, a 2.5 gigabit LAN port, a full-size HDMI port, and the power supply port. I mean, seriously, the laptop literally has it all. And you don't really have to run around looking for dongles or something like that. But even if such a situation arises where you have to plug something into this, this thing comes with a Thunderbolt 4 port. So you can attach pretty much any accessory to it, whether it's high-powered hubs or fast SSDs, this thing can take it all. Now moving on to the display, we have a massive 17.3 inch 1080p display tapped at 360Hz. Now the high refresh rate is clearly targeted towards eSports gamers, but thanks to Intel's i9 processor and the RTX 3080 GPU, the panel is great for AAA Full HD gaming as well. Now I'll talk about that in the performance section of this video, so make sure you watch this video till the very end. But as far as the panel itself goes, it's as good as it gets. It's not the brightest panel that I've seen, that's for sure, but then again, most desktop replacement laptops don't have a panel made for outdoor usage anyway. With around 350 nits of brightness, it's pretty decent, but with almost 75% DCI-P3 color gamut, it's great for content creators too. The screen size in itself is great for content consumption as well. Now moving along, we have some quick bits. First, the keyboard. The SteelSeries keyboard shines in all its glory and it's about the best gaming keyboard that you can have on a laptop, only short of the mechanical switches that we otherwise see on the MSI Titan lineup. It's great and the perky RGB customization makes things even better. The touchpad however does leave you wanting for more, but that's only because it's really good in itself. See here's what I mean. As far as gaming laptops go, this is one of the best touchpads that I've tried in terms of surface and palm rejection. The only problem here is the size. With a 17 inch chassis, MSI could have surely incorporated a bigger touchpad. Of course, at the end of the day, you are majorly going to be using this machine with a gaming mouse and only need the touchpad at times, for which this is fine. Now, speaking of things that are fine, the webcam right here. See, it's decent enough, but nothing to boast about. Now, the bump in resolution to full HD does allow for a comparatively sharper image here but as you can see the laptop still struggles with a bit of graininess and does not able to well capture the light as good as it is i mean we're recording this in the studio right now like the same setup that you saw my anchoring and my face isn't that well lit in the camera here as it should be so yeah that is one thing on the flip side, the audio output of the MSI G76 Raider is top notch. The output is both loud and rich, so you can easily crank it up to the highest levels without compromise on the quality. Now, like I said, the 17 inch panel is great for entertainment too, and the speakers here complement it quite well. Now, in terms of software, the laptop comes with a home edition of Windows 10, which we updated to Windows 11. There's a trial for Xbox Game Pass included as well, and the best part here is that you also get the MSI Center here. The MSI Center basically allows you to fine-tune all the settings of the CPU and GPU, 
tune the clock speeds, adjust the fan speeds based on profiles, control the RGB lights and whatnot. It's seriously one of the best organized apps out there for gaming laptops. And yeah, it's one of my favorite ones out there too. All right, so now to the big factor of performance. With an 11th gen Intel Core i9, 11980HK processor. That's an octa-core processor clocked at a whopping 5 gigahertz. This is a NVIDIA RTX 3080 GPU along with 32 GB of dual-channel RAM at 3200 megahertz and you also get a 1 terabyte PCIe Gen 4 SSD. So yeah, on paper, this thing sounds like an absolute beast and it definitely delivers. In terms of synthetic benchmarks, the i9 processor here easily pushes out high numbers without breaking a sweat. I'm talking scores of above 7000 PC Mark 10 and almost 607 Char 20 on single core itself. As for GPU, the RTX 3080 laptop GPU handles 3 Mark and Unigen benchmarks with ease. And what about gaming you ask? At the highest settings possible, the G76 handles AAA titles like Far Cry and Final Fantasy with ease and even has great FPS for RTX enabled titles like Control and Cyberpunk 2077. But I especially love playing esports titles like Valorant on this panel. I mean, I was sniping enemies left, right and center thanks to the 360Hz high refresh rate panel on this thing. Add to this, like I said, I've been using this as my daily driver, so content creation on this has been amazing too. In fact, we have been using the Raider collectively at our office and this thing has more or less been used as a rendering machine. Like, obviously because it was in my hands, so I was using it, but then my editor would just come up to me and say, you know, can you please render this project on the MSI Raider because it's so powerful and it would just spew out projects like that. No issues whatsoever. Like seriously, I kid you not, this outperforms our desktop editing rigs as well. Of course, all this top-notch performance comes at a cost as well. And in this case, it's the noise. But honestly, if you ask me, I think that's good. I would any day take noise over bad temps. So yeah, this thing has the temperatures in check and the only downside is loud noises. See, MSI has worked closely with Intel on this and as much horsepower the Intel Core i9 packs in, it works very well inside this machine, especially for sustained loads. For instance, even at a peak temperature of 94 degrees after an hour or so of continuous stress testing, the CPU clock rates did not drop below the base clock speed. Now that's just amazing stuff from Intel. Now a lot of folks are concerned about the upgradability of this thing and as far as that goes, you can upgrade the RAM to 64 GB and you can even change the storage here. And that's pretty much all the upgrades you'll need because the core i9 processor here is something that easily lasts the test of time. I mean, yes, it's 11th gen, but it's still far more powerful than any other product in the market. So I'm pretty sure that you won't need to upgrade anything for the next 4-5 years, easily. Lastly, there's a battery life. Now, with a humongous beast like this and with specs like this, you wouldn't really expect the G76 to be a battery champ. But honestly, the 99.9 watt hour battery easily lasts over three and a half hours, which is pretty good for a machine of its kind. It also goes to show that the Intel Core i9 isn't just all power, but also has a good sense of efficiency. So, bottom line, is the MSI GE76 worth it? Absolutely. See, I know most folks would be thinking that they should wait for the 12th gen variant and while I'm certain that would be even better, it's not like the 11th gen is outdated or anything. If anything, you can easily score a very good discount on this one and the i9 11th gen processor is a beast which should easily last a very long time. So yeah, if you're in the need for a desktop replacement laptop right now, the 11th gen G76 still gets an easy recommendation. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is Vaughn from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.